Welcome back, guys. Um, I've got a question for you. Is 20% barrel length a trap? So, obviously, if you start in 1890, then your automatic um, go-to barrel length is going to be plus 20%, because you want the extra accuracy. But... Is it a trap that you can fall into thinking that you should always take 20% barrel length no matter what? That is the question and we're going to try and find out the answer. So, I've designed equal battleships that are virtually identical for 1910, 1920, 1930 and 1940. The only difference between the two battleships is one of them has 20% barrel length, which is the Italians. The other one has 0% barrel length, so just a standard gun. So I have actually got secondary guns on all the British ships, but because I'll be controlling the British, I'll just turn them off because I haven't put secondary guns on all the Italian ships, mainly because I was too lazy. So, we're going to jump in and start with the 1910. So all the armor values, everything is pretty much identical between the two ships. So turn off secondaries. So who will win? Plus 20% barrel length? or 0% barrel length. So, it's looking good for the plus 20% barrel length, he's knocked out one of my guns. We've just landed a 2000 damage hit to his aft belt. Big hits in return. Looking good for plus 20% barrel length. Blue. It's definitely uh, a close fight. Looks like we're listing too much to actually fire our guns now. That's a, a new mechanic. So we're going to see if we can turn our guns to a point where we can actually fire them. I don't know if you can, I've never actually... Well, he's taken out one of them. So he's looking like... The gun won't actually turn when it's in the water. That's interesting. Okay, so 1 nil to the uh, plus 20% barrel length. So, 1920 next. Turn off the secondaries. 
So, place your bets now, please. It's a close fight, this one. He's spending an inordinate amount of time reloading. Landing absolutely massive hits on it. So he's not looking good for the plus 20% barrel length. One all. Did you see that coming? Did you place your bets? Okay, moving on. 19.30 now. I should uh, increase the range. So, placing your bets. Are you going to switch sides on who you're placing your bets on? I think at this range H E is probably the call of the day. Let's have a little look to see which direction he's going. He's going that way. Twenty four kilometers. HE's got about twenty four inches of pen. 
which is easily enough to cut. So, no hits landed by this ship yet. Ooh! Main deck penetration, two and a half thousand damage. I think that might ruin his day. Okay, so if his main deck armor is 8.6, that's 17.2 plus 1.7, so 19 on his main deck, which is about 21 kilometers maybe, so we just need to turn away again. So we've actually run out of uh, HE ammo now. So it looks like we're going to have to close the distance quite significantly.
the HE isn't going to work with uh, the 12.9 inch in, so let's switch over to AP. barrel ship 2-1 two, 2-1 one. Two, one to the 0% barrel ship is that who you place your bets on? what do you reckon will happen in 1940? There's 1,400 damage, there's another 1,000 damage. There's 2,500 damage, another 800 damage. Something tells me that the 20% barrel ship is not going to win this one. <laughs> 3,300 damage, another 1,000 damage. 3,000 damage again. Oh god. It's a massacre. <laughs> oh dear. Poor ship. So, the question was, is 20% barrel length a trap? What do you think? Should we repeat the test with AI control in the ships, do you reckon? So, let's start back in... 1910, this is the one that the 20% uh, barrel length won. The only one that the 20% barrel length won. So it's currently 3-1 to the 0% uh, barrel length ship, 3-1.
Well, this is not looking good for him. This is really not looking good for him. Did you place your bets? Were your bets on the 20% barrel length ship? Because I bet they were. <laughs> oh dear. Well, 4-1. I'd ask you to place your bets, but I think I know what you're going to choose. It's probably not what you chose the first time around. He's not playing very well. He's uh, not pointing his guns at the ship. I think. I think that's what's going on. He's turning away now, anyway. No, he's still got the target lock bug. That's interesting. This ship needs. Oh dear, is that 5-1? So what do you reckon this time? Can he come back from the brink? Or is this ship going to extend the lead?
AI's adamant that he doesn't want to point his uh, big guns at the enemy. <laughs> Tells me he's feeling sorry for him. chance in the world. He only used half his guns for most of the battle. Massive advantage, he still lost. Well, 6 1. I don't even think that this battle's necessary, but let's do it. Well, I think we can uh, safely say plus 20% barrel length didn't win.
surprised at the results? Is that, is that what you expected to happen? So just to show that there's no funny business going on. We've got 0, 13, 10, 11, 10, 20, 15, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Twelve, ten, eight, seven, eleven, zeros. Twelve, ten, eight, seven, eleven, twenty. Twelve, ten, seven, five, five, zero. Twelve, ten, seven, five, five, twenty. Twelve, nine, five, three, seven, nine, with zero. Twelve nine five three seven with twenty. Hundred percent veterans. 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 100% veterans and 100% veterans. So the ships were practically identical. The only difference being the barrel length. So I reckon that concludes the uh, the question. Is it a trap to always go for 20% barrel length? And I think it is. Once you get to about 1920, switch over to 0%, you'll have much better success. Right, hope this was enjoyable. Thought it would just be make a change, have a bit of a fun video for a, a change to the usual. So, cheers for watching, guys. Take care. See you soon.